Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this enormous stem and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How can plants move water up their stems? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some cups, some water, some food coloring, a few stalks of celery, some tape, and a bag. Okay, so today we're going to find out the environmental effects of how plants move water. So, the first thing you're going to need is a few stalks of celery. Okay, just come here for a second. Come here. Okay? All right? All right, get yourself four stalks of celery. Line them up so their tops equal, and then chop off the bottom equally. Then, we're going to fill four cups with equal amounts of water. Drop in about two to four drops of dark food coloring. Then, place one stalk in each of the four cups. Take one of the cups and place it under a heat lamp. Get yourself a fan and place this in front of one of the cups on low. Place one of the cups away from the fan and away from the heat bulb. Then, take a plastic bag, rip off the top, place this over one of the cups, and tape this around the bottom of the cup. Then take the bag cup and place that under the heat lamp as well. And now you gotta let this set undisturbed for like four hours. And, you know, but I'm sure you'll like come up with something to do. Oh, I hey, check this out! The one that we did nothing to, well, moved the most water. The one that was in front of the fan moved water the second quickest. The one that was in front of the light bulb moved just a little bit of water, and the one that was in the bag moved only a tiny bit of water. So, why do plants move water at different speeds depending on the environment? And how can water get from the ground to the top of a very tall tree? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The stalk of celery in front of the fan is like a windy day. Wind or the fan creates a dry environment around the leaves. This causes the leaves to evaporate more water into the air, forcing the plant to take up more water to replace the water loss. The stalk of celery under the heat lamp is like a very hot day. The sun or the heat lamp causes the plant to close stomata, tiny cells that open and close for gas exchange, to keep water from evaporating away and thus the plant doesn't take up as much water. The stalk of celery in the bag is like a humid day. Humidity, or the bag, creates a lot of water in the air around the plant. Thus, the plant doesn't need to take in water, since there's plenty of water in the air around the plant. A massive plant, like a tree, can move water from the ground all the way up to its topmost leaves, 30 or even 100 meters high. It's a process called coercion, where water molecules stick to each other. As water evaporates from the leaves, water molecules leaving the plant into the air pull on water molecules behind them. This creates a chain of molecules being pulled upward through tubes. These tubes, made up of dead cells called xylem tubes, move water throughout the entire plant. A second group of tubes, made of living cells called phloem tubes, move food made in the leaves down to the root system for storage, as well as throughout the entire plant. So now you know more about xylem and phloem. You know, seeing water move up the stem of a plant is why science is so cool.